Hey guys, welcome back to another H1Z1 video. Today we are playing two games, one good game and one really, really small game, which I only got one kill to win. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the game. So, we are here landing. Uh, we have um, kind of spawned around the Cranberry area. Uh, whenever I spawn in Cranberry, I do like to go to this certain store. Uh, what a small minority of people call it is Ninja Store. There's a big streamer. Um, he plays H1Z1. When he spawns near Cranberry, he usually goes here. So it's kind of nicknamed Ninja Store. Because his name is Ninja. But, uh, yeah, we landed. Usually there's really good loot there. For once in a very rare moon, there is nothing there. Which is not very good. That's completely fine. There is a car outside so we do have to be careful of that there are some shots it's bugging out a bit of course what is h1z1 without a little bit of bugginess all right let's see what we can do about these guys let's try to shoot at this guy and we missed but some other guy took him down anyway so that's uh, that would have been cool if i would have gotten that kill but yes he was fighting some other dude anyway so I guess I'm okay with that. Whoa, there's a jeep. You know what? I will take a jeep. Jeeps aren't terrible. Let's go ahead and take it. See what we can do. And there's a guy with an AK. Let's uh, not stick around. Yeah, let's uh, not stick around. I don't. I don't feel like sticking around for that. But we did grab a jeep. Um, let's see. Maybe could we go back? All right, so. We are here next to the dam, um, but the circle just came in and we have to go back to Cranberry, so yeah. Okay guys, we are at the residential part of Cranberry, and real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hide the jeep, because, yeah, um, I'm going to go up in that building, I'll show you guys once I get there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my vehicle, obviously, because if the gas pushes me out of here, I'm still going to need my vehicle, so what I'm doing right now, ooh, okay. AK and there's more AK and an AR in here. Cool, cool. You know what? That's a, a lot of ammo for just a small house. But yeah, I'm gonna leave the car there. Usually, people don't go around searching for cars just in random backyards. Smart ones do. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna camp on top of this building until the next gas pushes me. And the cool thing is, I'm gonna get on top of the building. Once, if someone actually does find my car and tries to steal it, I'll be able to shoot at them. So. Oh, more AR. Cool. So it's uh, it's kind of useful. But at the same time, what we're going to do is we are also going to loot the building. There's a couple signs where you know if that like someone's hasn't been there. Obviously, one of the big clear signs is obviously the loot is still there. But there's a lot of small things you can look for, which is um, open doors. Now, you have to really, really play a lot to figure out like the door pattern or... I mean, technically, you only need to see it once and remember it, but if you guys notice the front... Okay, I'll actually tell you guys. The front door to the building, the front one, that can be open because that does sometimes naturally spawn open. The back doors do not naturally spawn open. And then once you get inside, the first door to go up the stairs, that is never going to spawn naturally open. And then obviously, the doors to each room are never going to naturally spawn open. So, if you go to a building and the first front entrance door is open, that doesn't mean someone's been in there. But if the back door is open, the doors leading up to the stairs is open, or the door actually into the rooms is open, then yeah, someone's been in there. And I would also be weary of, like, if the door is closed, but then you go up one level and that door is open. Meaning, probably someone went through that room, but just closed it after them to maybe kind of trick you to either waste your time looting... Or do something else. So, yeah, that's um, a quick little tip right there. That is a quick little tip. There's another AR in the windows. Now, the only thing boring about all this is we're not going to get to kill people. I'm just looting constantly. But, um, honestly, I think it's for... I mean, I'm not going to call myself aggressive because I'm never. For more of a passive player, this is the way I should be playing. Just chill back, get a bunch of loot, make sure I have enough med kits and everything. I'll be fine. Real quick, just cleaning up my inventory a little bit. Alright, and the new gas zone should be coming in. I'm pretty sure I'm safe, though, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. 
another med kit. You can never have enough med kits. Well, that's actually very wrong. If you have, generally, if you have more than 15, you're uh, overdoing it. A lot of people, or a lot of beginners, that's their main mistake, is they get greedy. Even I, actually, even I did that in the beginning, where I just hoarded everything. Okay, the gas is going to push us out. So we do need to get out of here. The gas is going to push us, not very far, but it is going to take us out of Cranberry, which, meaning we need to get out. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's head out of the building. We didn't get anyone trying to come up. We didn't see anyone on the floor, which is kind of bummy. But, you know what? This game, sometimes it gives you loads of people you can kill. And sometimes everyone is just scared of you and stays away. So, can't blame the game for that. That is completely fine. But what we will do is we will grab our car. And we're going to get out of here. We are going to get out of here. And hopefully... Yeah. We need to go north. And there are sometimes people by these warehouses, so we do need to watch out a bit. We do need to watch out. And there's an ATV over there, just like I called it. There's... He has a sh he's baiting. He's baiting with a shotgun. He's baiting. Yep, there we go. I knew he was baiting. Alright, well, he hit me once somehow. That's fine. Let's use a med medical kit real quick. He didn't take any health. He's just making me bleed. But you know what? I'm going to medical kit while I'm here. That'll give me extra health just to get hit a few times. Alright, that was terrible on both of our parts. I mean, in the end, I guess it was less terrible because I killed him. But at the same time, I whiffed my first maybe seven shots. And he whiffed his first three shotgun shots honestly i don't know what he was doing i don't know why he pulled out his shotgun to bait me or yeah, that's what he did he baited me thinking he only had a shotgun so i could kill him then he pulled out his ak and i was thinking okay it's time for an ak battle then he pulled out a shotgun again i have no idea why the shotgun at that range is not close enough to me to kill me one shot you only ever want to pull out the shotgun if it's a guaranteed one shot kill I mean, if he only had the shotgun, that'd be understandable. Like, yo, I only have the shotgun. But he, I know he had an AK because he shot it at me. So I don't know what's up. But what I'm, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the car in the forest because some of the zone is still at Cranberry. So I'm going to go on top of another building and I'm going to leave the car right here. All right, guys. So there are 16 players left. There's a car below me. All right. We didn't get a shot at him. That kind of sucks. Let's keep trying to shoot at him, though. Maybe we can Alright guys, so let's... What I just forgot is that I don't have armor on me, and I don't have any more composite fabric. So, yeah, uh, I thought of going back to this guy, because I know he had, a, he had a backpack. And yeah, we can use this stuff to make more armor, which is very useful. So guys, we are doing pretty fine right now. We do have good good amount of helmets. We do have a car. We don't... We're running very low on armor supplies, but... Oh, there's a guy right there. He hit me? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, let's just stop real quick and met up. He might take a few sh more shots at me, but he's not gonna make them. Alright, so we're still moderate bleeding. He's gonna chase after me, but that's completely fine. There's another guy on the side of the road. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get the guy behind me. I'm gonna use the guy at the road as bait. Hopefully, that guy shoots at the guy over there. Seems like the guy isn't even coming. Okay, that guy's probably gonna try to take a few shots at me. That's fine. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. My car slipped. We're saved. All right, so this guy's going to come down the hill. I'm probably going to try to kill him. They're fighting. Okay, I don't even know why I'm using that bandage. Let's try to kill him. I don't know if we'll hit these shots, though. I don't know if we'll hit these shots. Nah, it looks like... Yeah, I didn't hit... I'm, I'm potatoing. All right, let's try to kill this guy, though. There's one shot. Two. Oh, okay, well, we hit him twice, and he gets... Alright, guys, that's like two or three kills. We either potatoed or we just didn't get to finish off. That's kind of disappointing. But there's another guy up there, and that guy's dead. Literally, that was like four people. One after another just kept getting slayed. I could have got most of them, too, but I'm... I don't know, guys. I'm just going to also say this. This is like one of my first games of the day. So if I potato a little bit, sorry about that. 
which I already have potato a bit. I promise I'll improve my aim a little bit later. All right, there's a guy right there. Oh, no. Please don't flip. Please don't flip. Please don't flip. Please don't. Oh, no. That was pro. Okay. Wow. Okay, my healing is done. Let's try to go up here. See if he's still up here. He should be. He should be looting. And he is. So let's, uh, one, two, three, four, dead. All right, so that kind of sucks. I could have probably killed him and the car, but it's okay. All right, there is a police car over there. Let's try to hit that up. Or let's try to blow it up. Let's try to blow it up. Wow. Wow. I hit him three times. That's crazy, actually. You know why? I didn't even see him. If you guys looked, his actual body was not even there. I was shooting at his car to blow it up, not to hit him. And I ended up hitting him three times. So please um, report me and ban me because that was some fishy things right there. That was weird. I hit him even when I couldn't even see him. But what he did was he ran over here to heal. So let's go ahead and find his car. He had a good amount of he healing time, but the problem is he should be kind of disoriented and weak. So, oh, there he is by the rock. Okay, let's stop over here so we can hit him. No, my car got in the way and there's bombs behind me. Oh, no. All right, there, we hit him once. We hit him twice. He also hit me once. I'm not going to rush to, I'm not going to rush him. I'm actually going to heal. Maybe try to bait him out a bit. No, I'm going to heal real quick probably should have killed him the problem is my oh he needs throwing a grenade all right time to heal or not time to heal time to rush there he goes actually i probably should have played more aggressive the problem is my car got in my way and i couldn't really shoot him he has a lot of material that gives us more uh duct tape hopefully please that bomb don't hit us Ooh, that was super lucky that that bomb did not hit us that was actually pretty crazy now let's Let's do what I talked about earlier. Let's not be hoarders. I have like over 400 ammo for most of my stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop it. Think about it. If there's four players left, am I ever going to need that? Why would I even need 400 shots? I'm not going to take that many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it and I'm going to use, um, I'm going to take the more important stuff like actual armor building material because you got to think about it. One bullet will take off my armor and making armor takes about 200 to... Uh, yeah, about 200 slots. Actually, no, I'm crazy. Not 200 slots. It takes like 50 to 100. But point is, if it takes 100 just to make one armor that can get shot off in one bullet. And there's a guy right there. Let's see what we can do about him. Let's kind of bait him around. See if we can, we can bait out a few shots out of him. Let's see if we can bait out a few shots out of him. All right. There's a few shots. He didn't hit me. Now, the thing is, I don't want to engage him in a car. And my car is pretty... Oh, there's a grenade. All right, let's uh, maybe get out of here. Let's, uh, oh, wow. He took my head off. Or he took my helmet off, not my head. Because if he took my head, I'd be dead. Let's ditch the truck. The truck was at 45. With all that rolling and hitting, that is going to explode later on. But we did get a very, very far distance away from him. So he should not be able to kill us. Uh, the only problem is gas is coming in. But I am going to finish the tactical. Let's go ahead and put our helmet on and let's get out of here. So that was very risky. Now, I see a guy up on the hill right there. I don't know if he sees me. I don't think he did. Okay, so he's running up the hill. We're going to have to look for him. The thing is, if the gas stopped here, I might as well heal up before I get in that fight. we got to be really, really careful. Where is he? He went up there. Well, he's probably above me, so let's look there. In a... Yeah, he should be somewhere here. There's a guy above that hill. He's going to shoot at me. Nope, he won't be able to hit me behind. There he is. How you doing? One, two, dead. Sorry, Manifest. You stood in the wrong position, my friend. That just kind of sucks for you. I'm just going to be honest. That was... Ooh. Feel bad. All right, so there's one guy up on the hill. I can see his head. Let's see if I can hit his head. One, two. Gone. So there's only four kids left. Now it's only me and someone else. So, guys, it is a 1v1. All right, so the gas is pushing. Oh, there's a grenade. He must be near. He must be near. That is some shots. Demolished. Wow. Potato death. That's so hard. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. He was thoroughly destroyed. Yeah, um... He had the advantage. 
he had the advantage and he missed all his shots. Me, I did, I think, I don't, I'm not going to call it a 180. It was more of like a 90 degree turn. And first shot, I think, hit his armor. Second shot hit his helmet. Third shot hit his head. He should have won that game, but he doesn't. There's a difference between should have and deserves. He did not deserve that game because he potatoed. He had me, like, he caught me by surprise. He didn't hit me. I deserve that. So I feel bad because if I was in a situation, I probably wouldn't have missed all my shots. And I probably would have won. But that's how it goes sometimes. So, guys, that is a first game of the day. Real quick, guys, I do have another game to show you guys. So I'm just going to play that real quick. Okay, guys, so this game is only going to be around, like, five or like two to three minutes because this game is interesting um i'm gonna be talking over this game what happened was this is a very 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 low kill game so i'm not gonna make an entire episode around it this entire game i only got actually one kill and you might be thinking was that one kill the last two people no it was actually i was up in a mountain which you guys will see later and i killed this one guy in the mountain and it was, I think that was top three, and I killed the guy in the mountain, or top four. And then the last two got in a fight, one got killed, and the last one actually choked on gas. So it was even kind of a terrible ending, which kind of sucked. So right now, I'm just showing you some footage of me looting and stuff like that. Uh, you can see I'm in Cranberry for a little bit. But yeah, in the end, it wasn't that exciting. I'm not going to make an entire video about it, but I do want to show you guys, because a win is a win. So now I'm up here in the mountains. And yeah, there's only 12 people left already. Again, haven't gotten a single kill. Here's a guy up in the mountain shooting at me. And I try to go for him. I don't think it works out though. Yeah, he hits me and I just back off. Still no kill. But I think the kill should be coming soon. Oh no, this is epic right here. I do a massive jump with the Jeep. The Jeep is only at like 30 something percent. Catches fire, so I just get out. And I piece out of there. It was kind of bad luck that the car blew up. But yeah, I just kind of get out of there. Don't want to stick around. This is where I get the only kill of the game. There's a guy in the mountain just sitting up here. And he lags for a little bit. Has some DC. I don't know what he's doing. But yeah, and he's gone. That was the only kill of the game. And you guys will see right here. There's only two people left. Last one choked on gas. So yeah, that's really it. I even got a sniper, actually, but I never got to use it. But, guys, yeah, those are two games that I've won. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun playing. So, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a sports channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.